today on Living Hakuna. Did you electrocute yourself? Yes, Guys, much. we're doing a 36 hour passage. They're so beautiful. I love dolphins so much. It was a about to rip the entire sail. I'm Andrea, that's Alejo, and those are our pairs, Ozzy and Echo. We left the corporate world in Miami to become digital nomads and chase the wind kiteboarding. Join us as we sail an adventure in our dream home, Hakuna. We continue making our way north as we sail from Fort Pierce to St. Augustine. Alejo is still sleeping. He had a really bad migraine last night. And so yeah, he's resting and I'm editing some videos. And it's pretty windless. We have like five knots, so it's not much. We're going with the engines and with our jib. I'll show you guys. The ocean is really calm. There's barely any waves. This morning, the dogs came out. They peed in their bathroom here. Now we're uh, going right in front of Daytona Beach. And we should be, I think we should be arriving to St. Augustine in the afternoon. I just woke up, people. It's 11.30. Oh. Not just wake up. Okay, I woke up like an hour ago at 10 30. I'm not feeling so good. I have a headache. Tell Be them why. Because Andrea gave me plethane with too much. That's sugar. not true. <laughs> Tell them the truth. I don't know. I'm feeling weird. My back hurts. Guys, he ate like I don't know what at least about. 30 chocolates. He loves sweets, he ate so many chocolates and he's not feeling good. And that's the reason why. No. But I tell him to stop eating so much candy and he won't stop, so... Yeah. Uh, you're gonna get sick and thicker. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm bad. A slowly but surely. Okay, and I'm going to make the sick man here. We're gonna make some sandwiches for him and I'm gonna have some eggs with platin and it's really good. You guys will be surprised how good it is. So guys, we have been in the boat for the past four days here in St. Augustine. We haven't really done much except work, work, and do more work. And today we are taking the dogs out for a walk. We're going to walk around town. We might have some lunch in town and just kind of enjoy a little bit of St. Augustine before we head out tomorrow. Uh, that's the plan. We're planning on sailing tomorrow. Well, we might have to just motor our way up because it seems like there's not going to be enough wind. But we're planning on heading either to Jacksonville or to Brunswick in Georgia. Uh, and then continue making our way up north until we make it to Chesapeake Bay. Baby, anything you have to say to the people in YouTube? No. Nothing? Nothing. <laughs> what are you... What, do you want to... Do you want to have lunch in St. Augustine or do you want to do? Yeah, we'll see. Okay. Depends how it is. You we look don't good this impacted. morning, baby. What did you do? What? What well, you look good this morning? What did you I do? I always look good. <laughs> no, but you got your what is that? Your mustache. Mustache. <laughs> Matacho.
are you doing? Picking up shit. <laughs> so we are entering the Castillo de San Marcos National Monument. Guys, let me show you where we're anchored. We're right. I don't know if you guys can see it. So, how has your day been so far? Oh, tell them all about it. How so pissed you were this morning. Kill switch for our dinghy. Got messed up. The red thing just came apart. Yeah. Came apart. So we couldn't turn it on. Yep. And so yeah. So yeah. So we had. So Alejo had to take that apart. Like, if we take it down, I'll show you guys. But he had to take it apart. So basically, the way of connecting the dinghy, of making it turn on, is by disconnecting the cables from the engine. And when he has to turn it off. He electrocuted himself, himself, when yes. he had to turn it off. That's pretty bad. Did you electrocute yourself? Yes, pretty hard. Really? What happened? <laughs> that happened. Yeah. So, so he had to do it with with pliers, or else he would keep electrocuting himself. So now we're preparing because we will be heading out. We don't know if we're heading to Jacksonville or all the way to Georgia and South Carolina. Point is, we're gonna. There's no wind at all. So we're just gonna motor, but we just wanna keep moving, you know? We've already been here for like a week. So that's been a long time. So we need to keep moving. Are you okay? I am. Do you agree? Yes. So we took the dogs out and they're feeling ready to sail out. So let's prepare for a passage. First thing we do, gotta turn off our handheld, ra turn on our handheld radio, not off. I already turned on the navigational instruments and we shall turn on our engines bracing our anchor here As you can see, we have a big storm coming. Pretty, pretty nice. We're going at 6 knots. So yeah, it looks like it's gonna begin raining. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on the wind. And that's it, people, that's it. There's our lazy crew right here. Our lazy crew? Lazy crew? Am I part of the lazy crew? Yes, you're part of the lazy crew. Oh my god, we were just talking about it. When we go sailing, Alejo gets really active and I get really lazy. Like, I just want to sleep. Like, I just want to wake up and go to sleep. Like, I don't want to do anything. Yeah, I'm gonna turn up the water maker. So we can turn on the AC while it's raining. We have our water maker and our engine. So we can turn on the AC while it's raining. We have our water maker and our, in the oven going at the same time. And it's consuming 3,318 watts. So it looks like we're gonna have to turn on the generator tonight because there's no sun during the day and we're using everything right now. So guys, we're doing a 36 hour passage from, um, from where were we? From St. Augustine? all the way to Charleston in South Carolina so it's 36 hours so today's Friday we will be getting there on Sunday so we were thinking about like I was thinking how to keep the dogs busy and I remember that we had these toys 
from when Echo had recently just like gone blind, like lost her vision. Like, like we would put the food pebbles on them so it keeps them busy and makes them more attractive. And they love them. So we're doing that to keep them busy and we forgot to download any movies. So I honestly don't know what we're gonna do for 36 hours. What are you gonna do for 36 hours? <laughs> As you know, yesterday we arrived here to Charleston in South Carolina and right now we're trying to figure out two things. The first one is where to take the dogs out because it just seems like we there's very few places where you can actually anchor because some places there's concrete like leftovers in the bottom so it's very usual that the anchors 
like from four more yeah concrete for mooring balls that they are stuck in the bottom of the, of the ocean and when you put your anchor your anchor gets stuck and they have to cut it off and then problem number two is that our sail ripped so our main sail yeah we had batting which is this thick and apparently they came loose like they came apart like this okay it came off <laughs> <laughs> okay and we made this little hole. Oh, okay. Right. Like it was about to rip the other. It was a ru about to rip the entire sail. Yes. So, what did you do? And so, we're gonna take out the batten. Yeah. Put it together. Okay. Like, weld together. Uh huh. And yeah. And see how much it costs us to repair that? But we would have to take the entire sail off. Which seems like a lot of work. I mean, it's not a big deal. The thing is that if we put our sail up the way it is right now, and we get like 20 knot winds, it could like rip the entire sail. And you know how much the sails are? They're so, how much is a sail, a main sail, babe? I don't know. Like, give me, throw me a number. 8, a random number. 5,000. 5,000? A new sail? I don't know. What? I was thinking more like 10, 15 grand, no? I guess. Yeah. I don't know. It's a lot of money. It's over the 5,000 for sure. We also need to get our Navionics SD card because we had Navionics until like Georgia. Now we have no chart plotter. You're, we're using our cell phone. We're using the Aquamops app and the, on the app for Navionics, but obviously it's not the same. So this is our batten from the main cell, which came loose. So I'm gonna fix it real quick, put it back in. So we have a main cell again. So I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna put it straight with a little hammer. I'm gonna put it in, hammer it down. So it doesn't rip the cell. And then I'm thinking of putting a little bit of epoxy in there so it doesn't come apart. And just weld it to this. And boom, we have another batten again. I don't know how it came apart, people. Grab my tool. So this silver part, this was all the way into this batten. So the next piece only had this little part to grip. So I took it out. Now it has half and half. And yeah, that's it. That's it. So we're gonna put it in. This is the part that was like all the way to this side and it got bent. So as you can see, it's pretty straight. And all I did was scoot it over from this side, scoot it to this side, now it's half and half. And yeah, we fixed it, we fixed it. Now I'm gonna take a look at the wingless that it has a weird sound. So I think it's lubrication. Okay guys, so this is where we leave you for this video. If you guys enjoyed, leave a comment below, make sure to subscribe and hit the little bell button. In the next video, we're gonna show you how we repair our cells and how we take them off and put them back on. Peace.